It's always a party at Patchworks. Let's get this party started. Hoot hoot. Hi everyone, this is Julie from Patchworks and I am so excited that you're joining us for another Must Sew TV tonight here at Patchworks. I see some people hopping on. If you can let me know that you are on watching us, that you can hear us, let me know in the comments. Make sure to like and share so that you can have a little watch party with your friends. And of course, if you aren't able to watch us all the way through, remember that you can catch a recap either on our Facebook channel or you can hop over to YouTube and you can watch all of the episodes that we have. So, yay, I see people can hear us and watch us. That's fabulous. I'm flying solo tonight, so you never know what we're going to do. So I am just going to take our little scrolling caption off of the bottom so that I don't get seasick there. So we have so, so, so many amazing things to show you today. And of course, our very first thing that I want to share with you is our bundle of the week. So let's take a peek at what that is. So overhead here we have our bundle of the week and I've included a link in the comments here. It is, I called it a fresh bowl of cherries. You can see here that this beautiful cherry print was one of the inspirations for putting this together. So what did we curate here? Well, this is a really, really funky pack that we put together and we all got in on the action. So I just wanted to share with you. So it was sort of, you know, we were looking at the cherries and then what we did is that we're like, well, it's all small print, so we want to do that. So we incorporated some Ruby Star, we put in some Ginger Burr, we put in some Art Gallery. So we have this great calico print here fun little, this ruby star here, fun little stars, lines, this beautiful art gallery piece, which is great florals, larger floral here, these cool stripes, and then we hopped into some green. So we have three greens here, and kind of going with the concept of all greens go with all greens. So we have some really, really cool greens over here and then a little bit of a warmer green which I just thought kind of picked up on the stems and then we have some beautiful blues. So this is the pack, limited quantity, 12 fat quarters, regularly $39 and while supplies last it is $24.99. What? Oh that is so exciting. So as we are putting these together you can kind of see here too that, you know, it kind of goes with the shirt that I like wear all the time. So yes, I record these on different days, but I kind of have a few video shirts that I go through. And so this palette is really on trend and I see that uh, Diane said, looks like summer, yes. And just lots of fun with that. So, the other thing with this palette that we put together is that it really coordinates really, really well with a brand new fabric collection that we have that's called Dawn on the Prairie. So, let me share that with you. Doesn't this kind of look like it could go with it? Ooh, ah, oh. So, I want to show you, um, this just came today, super excited. We got a little screwed up with our order here. So we have most of the collection. We do have some pre-cuts for you and we do have the panel, but let's just look overhead at the full collection and then we can talk about it a little bit. How does that sound? All right. Oh, and I'm seeing here in the comments that we have people joining us from all over the place, from Milwaukee, from Florida, from Pittsburgh, 
Thank you everyone for tuning in today. It's always great to spend Thursday nights with you. All right, so, well, first off, we'll start with the panel. How about that? Before we, so this is Dawn on the Prairie, and this is from Fancy That Design House, and Stephanie from Fancy That Design House. She is from the New Berlin area, so she's a local Wisconsin fabric artist. And you can see here that we have on this panel some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pillow panels. So I was so happy that we were still allocated some panels. I thought we weren't going to be getting any, so that is super exciting that we have some to be able to share with you. This is not quite up on the website yet. As I said, we literally got the boxes, I think at about four o'clock today, we weren't sure that they were coming. And because this order came in a little weird, uh, we didn't wanna check it in because we wanted to make sure that we had what we thought we were getting and didn't want to put it up before we could cross check all of that. So let's take a peek overhead. So I took out here the fat eighth pack that we have. So the fat eighth pack is going to have a few extra pieces of fabric that we don't have in the store, but um, it represents the whole collection. So this background here, I love this background. We did get the whole bolt of this background here, it's so amazing. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, but you can see here that we have this cross stitch and see, I wore the shirt, I must have known that this was coming today. So you can embellish it with, with thread if you had wanted to, or you could simply leave it as a beautiful printed design. So we have some creams, we have that rusty orange. This brown here, so this is like a mushroom toasty brown. Let me push this up here. And some sage green. Peachy peach, that's a technical term of course just so soft and pretty. So with us having just this tiny bit of a mix up on this collection, I did verify that the fall line um, from her, we have completely all, everything is all taken care of and we made sure cross-checked 85 million times to make sure that that order was placed in the way that we intended and um, we will be getting that collection as well for that will coordinate with a block of the month that we're going to be doing in 2024 if we can even think that far ahead oh my gosh but beautiful 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 we have uh, that eighth collections of the whole line we do have jelly rolls of this line as well all of this will be going online. If you had needed something right away, just let us know. This is Dawn on the Prairie. I'm just typing that in here, Dawn on the Prairie. I fancy that design house. And uh, Holly says, yes, everything just keeps going and going and going. Yes, that is true. So you'll uh, be sure to check. We will have this on the website probably tomorrow. Uh, I just didn't wanna throw it up there before I had cross-checked that uh, what I was putting up there was what we actually had been allocated and what we actually received. Nothing worse than being off on those numbers. So that is super exciting. The palette goes backwards and forwards with some of her other lines. And because we were talking about some of the other lines and she does some other things like some tea towels, uh, we do have one set of tea towels left from the songbook, a new page. So I just wanted to let you know as we get closer to the holiday season and you're looking for fun gifties, either for yourself or for 
friends that you have. Uh, we do have one more set of these tea towels. The set of three tea towels is $23.99, and you can either use them as tea towels or you could incorporate them into a quilting project. And Linda wants to know, oh, I opened a can of worms here, didn't I? So Linda wants to know, what do we need for the block of the month? So I really haven't even talked about the block of the month yet, but we are going to be doing Chatsworth by Antler Quilt Design, so that's Doug Laco. And because it's first 2024, I just was kind of waiting to talk about it, but I know that a bunch of you are super excited about that, so I'm going to have to get that information up for you so that you know all the fun things that we can do. We're going to be offering a couple different kits here, and then we'll also be offering you the ability to uh, choose your own adventure. And um, if you had been spying the Chatsworth uh, pattern, that really, it's kind of been quiet for a little bit just because it's uh, the big blocks of the month for that sort of thing are first a few months out. Uh, we just haven't been, you'll start seeing some of that stuff pop up. All right, so hopefully, Linda, that answered your question. Um, I'll be able to, if you really loved a line right now and you had wanted to know about that, uh, let me know. But this, we're going to be planning that program to start in January 2024. So that's a long time from now. It is not this fabric line. It's just a different fabric line by this designer because, you know, we got to have all of the amazing fabrics, right? Okay. All right. So um, have the beautiful... Dawn on the Prairie, we had the Bundle of the Week. And if you popped over to the front page of our website where we have Bundles of the Week, I also added in there two bonus bundles. I should have talked about them right away, but I was so excited to show the crossover fabric line of how our Fresh Bowl of Cherries bundle went with this brand new line. So. Let me clear this out here, and then I'm going to share with you our bonus bundles. So for our bonus bundles, we only have a couple of them available. So sometimes what we do is we just um, share with you some extra bundles that have been hanging around the shop a little too long and need to go home with you. So let us share those with you. We have two of them. So they are Treasure Island by Snow Leopard Designs. And so this is Snow Leopard Designs, Philip Jacobs. He is part of the Cave Collective. And so you can see that these are definitely Cave-like designs, but they are his own name. So they are his own design. I'm not going to split this apart here, but it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 12 fat quarters, regularly $39. We have two bundles left, and they are 39, I'm sorry, $24.99. And then we have a uh, Victoria Findlay Wolf, beautiful uh, low volume backgrounds here. Two packs of these available, and instead of being $39, these are also $24.99. So let me just quick grab those links for you so that you can see them. And they are in our bundle of the week section. So the Philip Jacobs one we have is right here. And then the Victoria Findlay Wolf shirtings, modern shirtings is right here. Okay, perfect. all sorts of amazing, great fabric today. So it's kind of been a weird week because we haven't gotten a lot of fabric all week. And then the FedEx guy came at like four o'clock and we got all this fabric. So super exciting, but um, we weren't as prepared about having everything prepped because, well, it just came. 
So, um, one of the things that I'm really, really excited about that just came in is Lakeside Gatherings Flannel. <gasps> How many of you have been waiting for that? It is so sumptuous and yummy. Um, we'll be having project ideas and things like that to share with you in the coming weeks. We just want to make sure that you knew that we had it uh, because, well, I know as these things are released and designers share all sorts of amazing things, you want to make sure that you don't miss out. So this one we do have up on the website. We are going, we have started cutting, but we have not assembled our fat quarter and half yard bundles of this line. There are 33 SKUs in the line. If you are interested in having a, a yard bundle or such, or you know for sure you want a fat quarter or half yard stack, let me know in the comments, message me, send me an email. I'd be more than happy to make sure that we can have that allocated for you because it's not on the website yet. I do have the yardage on the website. So if you were looking for those, I'm just gonna click a link here for you so that you can spy on those amazing flannels. I'm gonna grab them over and I'm gonna peel them off so that we can peek at them. So the beautiful flannels here, they are from Primitive Gatherings, Lisa Bontina, Primitive Gatherings. The fat quarter tower of 33 fat quarters is 107.25. The half yard tower is 214.50. If you wanted a yard tower, let me do some quick math. Um, well, it'd be two times 214.50 is what the yard tower would be. All right, so let's take a peek at these great flannels. Oh, yum, and it's so soft. Moda flannel is always so yummy and soft. So this is really, it's, I mean, it could be wintry. It doesn't have to be wintry. And, you know, it kind of got a little chilly this morning. And so I can even imagine this being a light, you know, a, a late summer quilt. It's so beautiful and neutral and timeless. It could be a masculine quilt. You could dress it up with snowmen. You could play with it with blue jeans. I was spying on um, one of my distributor websites I was watching last night. Uh, they were showing me a new pattern review. And, oh, goodness, I'm so excited because uh, Gundra from GE Designs, she has a pattern that would just go great with this that I have to scoop up and show you. And it has the denims and the cocoa browns and beiges, the sandy colors that would just be beautiful for a super chunky, super easy flannel quilt. So we'll be looking at grabbing that one to share with you. Love these, they're just so yummy. Now this one here, I think with these little stripes here, these little stitch lines, I love that. I think it could be a great binding. As I said, 33 amazing fabrics here. So that is super yummy. I know it's hard to think about flannel right now. And then we have three that look like her primitive muslins. So we have the navy and the cream and this beigey, sandy color. So that is the gorgeous Lakeside Gatherings, 33 beautiful flannels that have arrived that you can do all sorts of amazing things with. If you were looking for some of Lisa Bonjean's pattern support, let us know. Um, and I do have a few projects up my sleeve that I'm gonna be sharing with you with this. I just wanted to let you know that we did have the yardage in stock as um, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this amazing collection. Speaking of some new patterns and inspiration, I wanna show you some of the latest 
books and patterns that we do have in the store that we can check out in no particular order. And if you have any questions along the way, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to do my best to answer them. So when I was in Chicago at the H&H &H show, oh goodness, that was the back end of June, um, Jessica of Sally Tomato was sharing her brand new book. And so we got from CNT a field guide to making bags. So this is five projects to get you started. Supplies, skills, tips, and techniques to sew professional looking bags. So this is a great book here that has all sorts of great photography, some how to's, basics, different shapes, goes through different components and hardwares and interfacings. There's so many different products out there and you know we have a sampling of a few different vendors. We can't carry it all but um, we are more than happy to do our best to bring in a bunch of different stuff. So let us know if you're hankering for something that we don't have. And we can talk about whether or not it makes sense that we're able to get it in or if it makes sense to go direct to a designer. Because I know a lot of you just like to be able to touch and feel it first before scooping it up. So a field guide to making bags. This is $29.95 and it is designed by, or it is published by CNT Publishing. Next up, I have this Quilting with Curves 20 Geometric Projects. And this one just caught my eye when I was meeting with my motor rep. I thought this was a really interesting book. It is from Stash Books, which is a CNT published book, $25.95. And projects range in difficulty levels and are doable for quilters of all skill levels. So 20 different projects here. And a lot of times we are intimidated by curves and things and so it's always interesting to see how different designers tackle the curve issue. Like anything I always recommend that you try a technique before you say oh I can't do it or I don't like it. And I think that curves can be just an interesting component to add to your sewing skill set. So beautiful, fun project here on the contemporary side. And I also just love how this plays with graphic, the graphic uses of different fabrics. Something a little out of the ordinary, which can be fun to play around with. So all of your templates are in here. And then a book that we had looked at or seen that we do have in stock. I don't know if I told you about this one yet, but it is just two charm pack quilts. So slash your stash and make 16 throw quilts. So you can either grab two charm packs and a background or such, or you can chop, your, chop up stuff in order to get those five inch squares. So this is just a really fun, fun, project book and we wanted to bring it in. I had seen it on social media. I think one of you asked me to specifically bring it in. So, you know, I can't watch everything all of the time. So I really do appreciate when I get little love notes from all of you saying, oh, have I seen this? Oh, could we bring this in? And as I said, we can't bring everything in, but we love to be able to see what you're interested in and see if it makes sense in our product mix. So thank you, Sherry. Sherry just said that this book is a great book. It's $24.95, and it has those projects. For our Here Kitty Kitty fabric line, we just got in this uh, this pattern 
we got in a couple other patterns that I shared with you last week, and this one is called the Kitty Cat Scallop. Let's see here. So these are all little cat faces, and it is a 78 inch quilt, so it's an ample quilt here that you are using yardage for. It is um, not a pre-cut quilt, but these are all little cat heads, which are super cute, and it is called scallop because the colors are arranged so that you get a little bit of a scalloping look to it. So that's pretty fun. And then we have two new releases for the pouch club, and we will be talking about a pouch tonight. So we are going to be continuing with Solux fabric and their fun pouch club that they're doing with Moda Fabrics. So these just came in today and let us know if you were interested in either of these, but these will be patterns that we're stocking in the store. I'm going to grab over the featured pouch of the month here and then we can do a quick little recap of ones that we've already done. So I am borrowing here from Jackie had shared this one and she actually had made one just for me. How cool is that? So Jackie had made uh, the Pencil Me In pouch, which is a fun pencil pouch project. And you can see here that she embellished this with a little embroidery. So you can go ahead and do a little uh, embellishment with your machine or by hand or by marker or however, or not at all. And that can just be a fun way to personalize the pouch. Now this particular one was the featured pouch of this month because it is going back to school. So lots and lots of fun and looking at all the different ways to do pouches between the different designers. This particular one has a finished inside so it is this doesn't have any foam or anything on the inside. It's just very fun. So that one is the featured one of the month and we are supporting all of the patterns here. We had shown you the sunflower pouch. This was the one that I had made. I think it was last month already. This was the first candy cutie pouch that we had made, which you can use with the mini charms, super cute. And then other patterns that were in the first release that we haven't made yet are the spools scrap basket, which is super fun to just be right by your sewing machine. The autumn breeze pouch, that looks like a lot of fun. And the triangle pouch. So we have lots of different opportunities for making fun pouch designs. That all of these patterns are featured right by the register, so you can look at them there or give us a call if you weren't able to find what you were looking for. We have some other really amazing fun treats that just came in. All of the good stuff, super, super fun that all sorts of great stuff is coming in. We have a couple more tumblers that just came in, but these are a little different. So this one here and so we are already thinking about Christmas and things like that. I know it seems so crazy, but um, well, it is time to start thinking about some of this stuff. So here, this is a foam tumbler. So it is not metal etched, it's foam, what do they call it? They call it an insulated tumbler with a silicone grip and this 20 ounce insulated tumbler with a silicone grip is embellished with all I want for Christmas is fabric. And it has a nice top here, like the other cups that we've gotten from Moda. And it is designed so that it will fit in your car, which is super nice. Nice ample 20 ounces. This is $29.99. And then, we have a second one that says, let it sew, let it sew. 
let it snow. No snowing yet, but we do like our snow when it is seasonally appropriate in southeastern Wisconsin. So not seasonally appropriate today, right? But uh, this one is super cute as well. So it is that silicone grip on the insulated tumbler. And these are $29.99. And how much fabric will the cup hold, Kathy wants to know. Well, let's just see because, well, I'm just guessing that if you had wanted to, I've never done this before, but we could probably slide in, oh goodness, how many fat quarters? I mean, you know, in a nice way. We wouldn't want to like jam them in. I'm guessing you could probably fit a whole fat stick in here. Wouldn't that be an amazing gift? For especially for the one that's all I want for Christmas is fabric. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, so that's five. We'll just see here. So this is six. So six easily. Okay, so maybe not twelve. So six easily, and then um, you probably could more carefully put them in. And Kathy said yes. This would be an amazing secret Santa gift. Oh, I love that. So, um, six fat quarters and a mug. Oh, that's just so amazing. So, mugs are $29.99. And, um, of course, if you scooped up a bundle of the week, that's $24.99. So, that would be great savings for being able to put something together. Great idea, Kathy. So, those are two new tumblers that we have. We have, we're looking at some additional tumblers because, well, they're just all the rage. So if there's something specific that you are looking for in a tumbler, also let us know. This next thing I'm really excited about. So all sorts of exciting things. You know, we like our zipper charms and stuff. And so we're starting to get in some new zipper charms. And with these Ruby Star zipper charms, there also are some other elements. So we're still waiting. We didn't get our complete order, but we had some really, really great stuff that I am going to show you. And if they aren't on the website yet, because they will show up in our new stuff, uh, but they're probably not there yet because I don't think we have the pictures for them. Leave us a message, send us a message, or send us a memo, email, call us, stop in to be able to get those. So let's look overhead. Okay, so my favorite thing is that, you know, we normally have our zipper charms. Well, Ruby Star released ornaments, these really beautiful, chunky ornaments, okay? These could be um, also, I could see putting them on your presents, you know, just putting a little tie here. So these are some of the shapes that we've known and loved. So I think my very, very favorite is the only fabric. And these are really, really nice, okay? So you could put them as zipper, I mean, zipper pull is probably a little, this is probably a little too much for that. You probably could use it as a, um, as a embellishment of sorts. So these ornaments are $16.99. I know they are not going to last long. So we have the fabric only scissors. We have the iconic Melody Miller typewriter with the heart. We have Sarah Watts and her dancing reindeer. And we have the Melody Miller mouse ornament. Super, super cute. Then one last ornament that we have, oh, this one, this is Sarah Watts. And we do still have, I believe, a few cards as well that go along with these. So and this is Happy Holidays with the sewing machine and the tree, or the half square triangles in the shape of a tree. So that's really, really cool. Okay, for a little bit smaller items, we have some new zipper pulls. So we have Kimberly Kites ice cream and gummy bear. The zipper pulls are $10.99. We have Rashida's flowers. We have Melody Miller's teacup 
and Sunbeam. We have Alexia's Star and Rainbow and Sarah Watts Octopus and Sewing Machine. And then we have some earrings. So this is the same scale as the zipper pull, but it is done as earrings. So that's super cool. So we got those. $10.99 for the earrings, $10.99 for the zipper pulls. We do have the charm bracelet on order. So if you are spying up that, that charm bracelet from a different source, let us know so that we can make sure to set one aside for you when they come in, whenever that will be. So super, super fun. I hope you think these are as exciting as we do. We love them. And if you weren't able to watch us last week, we shared with you that we have the Robin Pickens new zipper pulls for Forest Frolic. So those are two different sets. And these are $11.99 as they're a little bit larger. And from the Kath, Kathy Holden, we have these two guys here, as well as we just got back in stock the pattern and dress form in the mini zipper charms. So lots and lots of things. So Tiana wants to know, uh, when are we getting in the bracelet? So my hope was that we would have had the bracelet with this shipment. Um, so I don't know off the top of my head when the, when the uh, charm bracelets are coming in. We do have a dozen on order coming in, so they are going to go quickly. Let us know if you had wanted to pre-order one from us. So we can follow up after the video for anybody who is looking to uh, make sure that they can get one from us. All right. And yes, Cannot wait to see it in person because it's going to be adorable. I just love all these little, little, little things. They're so fun. The other thing in new stuff that I shared with you last week, I know a bunch of you had been watching us and saw, but not everybody was able to see. Uh, we did get in some really fun new Halloween towels, and these Nomi's are super, super adorable. So we have this. Uh, in our new stuff section and in the front of the store, $9.99, and we only have a couple of these left. So you'll want to scoop those up sooner than later. All right, what else do I have for you? Well, for those of you that love all things Tula or have been waiting for different things, we just got in our second installment of the Queen of Diamonds uh, block of the month. And so it's actually the quarter, the second quarter. So we are contacting those of you who have ordered it. Um, and if you were looking still to jump in on that Queen of Diamonds block of the month, which is this program here, it's not one that we're stitching along with, but we are supporting it. We still have patterns and such available here. And we do have some cut to order that are um, in addition to the manufacturer cut ones. So if you're looking to hop in, we still would be able to hook you up with exactly those same fabrics. So just let us know about those. So that is coming in. So we'll be able to notify those of you who are signed up to already receive those. And then, uh, from a restock standpoint, uh, we got a whole bunch of things restocked. So then what we did is we made sure to recut Tiny Stripe and Tiny Dot that stacks because each of these has 12 in the collection. So of course, we just want to keep those stacks going. Also, we um, had a little bit of something. So we have four and a half inch roll up of... 10 eighth yard strips here. So there's, I think, just one of these, but this is super cool. So if you're looking for just a little bit of the stripes in long form here, we have you have this for you. And then we have all of our neon 
dots and stripes uh, back in stock. So we have a fat quarter tower of the 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 um, tent stripes and pom-poms in the neons. We do have all of the neon animals, also the Everglow animals, back in stock. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. And I have a little preview. Who wants to see a preview of the next Tula line? Besties, does anyone want to see it? Me, me, me. All right. So I guess someone wants to see it, or maybe it was just me. So I'm just going to show you. This is just a little bit of a tease for some things that are coming later this year. So super, super fun. And you can see how things come and go and work together. OK. All right. So you can see here how, with our little animals here, how our neons are going to work super well with them. You can feel free the next time you're in the store to ask to touch these. We do take full inventory after you've touched them to make sure that all the pieces come back. And if you had known that you were looking for something, let us know because we're starting a list. Uh, this is expected to come in in November, so let us know. Now, this is interesting because this has a little bit of gold metallic. So this is a new element for Tula. So the ones that have metallic have a little bit of an upcharge on them because, well, of course, a little bit special treatment. We have really cool hearts and the daisy chain as our backgrounds here. So we can look at the different basics. We have cute little gerbils here, which is a nice little, a nice little fun shape here. More goldfish. The goldfish have gold. The bunnies. So the bunnies, super cute. Bunnies, moon, gold stars. Okay, so that is gold metallic. Turtle. So the turtle's a little tame here, just a little quiet. Little turtle crawling across. Great, great piece there. <gasps> and the cat. Oh, the cat. Megan came in and was able to touch these, and I think she squealed when she saw the cats. So this is super cute with the cats just climbing on the, on the cubes. And then we have the best friend chain, the broken hearts that you, know, that you had back with your bestie back in your younger years when you each had a half of the heart. This is gold metallic here. And it is really tastefully done with that metallic, just a little titch of metallic, super cool. Both colors, I do think the pink is my favorite in this pattern. More gerbils, more cats. Ooh, electric. Little bit of a sassier turtle here. The dogs here, we have a little bit of this gold embellishment around the frame. And then for the little buckle on the dog collar there. And the dots. And then a wild bunny. 
So, November, that's what we're looking at for besties. We are getting quite a bit of all of it. We have ordered some of the official kits for that. You'll wanna make sure that you uh, scoop those up um, or get your requests in for those. Also, if there are different things as you are starting to see um, now that nightshade is is hanging around and people are, some of the designers are looking forward to doing some things with the next line. Uh, let us know if there's anything specific that you had wanted us to be prepared to kit up for you because we love to be able to um, custom kit for you, be it Tula or anything else. And with regard to just all things Tula, just know we have plenty of nightshade still in stock. And um, as I had said, we have all of the Everglow animals back in stock, which is super exciting. Super, super exciting. So I see a lot of you are really excited as well for this upcoming fabric line. All right, one more thing to share with you, and I'm just kind of teasing you tonight because we have a lot of work to do for getting things up online. But know if you had needed anything that's not there, just to message us, stop in in the morning, that sort of thing. It's all available for sale. So we got in totally different, not Tula at all. We got in this super cool line from Clothworks, and it is called Beep Beep. And it is a great juvenile line. The thing that I like about it as well, though, is we haven't seen a great playmat for a while, and this playmat option is um, printed on a heavier cotton. Let me see, is it called? It's not specified as being um, a canvas. I might call it a duck weight, if that makes sense, I think, for all of my fiber friends. So I didn't cut off of this guy here, but you can imagine, okay, so it's a double-sided, and we got two bolts of this because we just know it's going to be awesome. So it is a play mat, and the play mat roads are a perfect scale for your little tiny cars and things. Well, maybe not your tiny cars, but the little tiny cars of people who might play with them. Could be a lot of fun. So you have a farmer's market here, you have a neighborhood, you have a general store and a bakery, you have a campground, you have a farm, you have a state park. On the other side, we have a dog park and a school and a police sa um, station and a bike path. So really it is a very modern, um, it's a very modern take on a play mat. So that is super fun. And I don't even have a price tag on this quite yet because we haven't checked it in yet, but I just wanna let you know that that was coming. Then I'm um, just gonna show you a couple of the coordinates. We do have the full line of this collection. And once again, I'll be having the full fabric line to share with you probably next week and we'll show you some pattern ideas for that. I just wanted to give you a taste of some of the new stuff that we have here. Here we go. So Diane is saying that Doug and Melissa line of cars works really well with most play mats. Okay, so I'm not familiar with what those are. I, if you have kidlets and you know what Doug and Melissa cars are, great. Um, so thanks Diane for sharing that. And oh, Joe wants to say that there's no quilt shop in the play mat. Oh my goodness, that is despicable. Oh, there's only a general store. So, you know, we can just cross that off and then like embellish in quilt shop. I think that would be appropriate. Or we could just applique one on. 
And Diane says flannel would make a great backing for that. Absolutely it would. And then, yeah, so that would be, that is super fun. So we'll be able to show you all of those different pieces if you were looking at making a play mat uh, and you can't wait, please come on in or just give us a holler and we'll be able to get you all the details for that for you. Whew. So what else is going on? So Mary asked is do we have a drop off date for the books ahead book bags? Yes, Mary, we do. We are looking to have a new drop off date and that's going to be at the end of the month. So you can start dropping them off. We are going to have a pickup on the 26th. It actually will probably be like the 29th. So please feel free to drop off those bags before um, before then so that you can we can share all the wonderful bags uh, with Linda and the organization that works with Books Ahead. Thank you so much, Mary, for asking. I don't think I remembered to tell you last week and I totally meant to. So thank you so much. Um, and if you are looking for patterns for those books, check out, uh, we have detailed instructions in Patchworks Party, which is our Facebook group. We always share some fun things there. So some show and tell and different community information. Also, I've had uh, two different local guilds request to post information in there about uh, their upcoming membership year. And I absolutely welcome you to put in local guilds um, to be able to help build our local community. So um, we are all about sharing community and support, especially in our local southeastern Wisconsin area for all of our customers here. The only thing that we ask is that we don't talk about um, in that group other type of commerce that wouldn't necessarily be beneficial to our general community. That's the, the thing that we would uh, a limit from there. And of course, if there's something that we would run across that wouldn't be appropriate, uh, we would just gently comment to you and say, oh, you know, maybe we should take this down and we won't do that um, again. But I really do want to be able to support all of the local guild meetings because that is a great community builder, great way to uh, make new quilty friends and learn lots of new quilty things. And Sheila wants to know, will the playmat be available online at some point? Absolutely, and it really won't be some point. We should have everything um, online for both of these, I would say before the end of business tomorrow at the latest. Um, the playmat should be on sooner than later, and the one that's going to take the longest is probably going to be the Dawn on the Prairie just because it was an irregular order that the order doesn't match our purchase order. So that one takes a little bit more tinkering, but um, the beep beep line should be on really soon and then it'll be on the front page of our website. And I'll make sure to tag you, Sheila, with that so I can put in the show notes, I'll reply to your comment so that you're tagged and then you can be able to browse that collection as soon as it's available. Before we wrap up with a recap of the bundle of the week, is there any questions that we have? If you were interested on going on our shop hop bus tour, I think we have two spots left, just two. So that is our September 30th bus trip where we go all over the place and have a fabulous day. So let me know if you are still interested in that. Um, you'll wanna make sure you grab those tickets before they are gone if you had wanted to go. All right, I'm gonna go and we're gonna look overhead at our bundle of the week. <gasps> so pretty. Lots of fun inspiration. Okay, 
So that is our bundle of the week, which is the fresh bowl of cherries. I will check out the comments in case if there was um, anything that we missed along the way. If you feel that we missed anything along the way, please know that it was just because I wasn't able to scan the comments and I'll scan them after our show to be able to respond to you as well as if you had wanted to send me a different type of message in a different way, that is just fine as well. So thank you so much for taking time out of your Thursday night to spend some time with us. We have all of this and more in the shop and we are here Tuesday through Saturday for your in-store shopping pleasure. Until next week, happy quilting and we'll see you soon.